So if you've been watching the fabulous and very trending show Wednesday, you've probably seen Gwendolyn Christie's beautiful mid-century style updo. It's kind of like a French twist. It has a lovely S-shaped bang. It's really hard for me to find pictures of the back, so I think I'm just gonna do a classic kind of French twist and try to recreate her iconic hairstyle. I've already gotten started with the hair prep. Prep the style with heat by using a curling iron. This is a three quarter inch curling iron. It's also a great hairstyle for day two or day three of already styled hair. You just need to have a little body and lift and a little bit of a swoop to create the bang section. The first section will consist of the bangs. I've separated it into three and created three large standing curls. Going away from your hair parting. For the remainder of the hair, I'm going to work my way around, starting with this front section over the ear, creating barrel curls and holding them in place with a duckbill clip. The thickness of your sections will depend on how much hair you have and how thick it is. My sections are about as wide as the barrel of the curling iron. To set the curl, I'm holding it in place with a small duckbill clip and moving on to the next section. Continue your way around the back until you reach the other side above the ear. Curling the hair before styling will add texture, volume, and a little bit of shape to the hair. After letting the hair set for a little while, you can remove all the duckbill clips but do so carefully so you don't pull out any hair. The heat set should result in medium-sized barrel curls that you can brush out with a comb or a hairbrush. After the brush out, create your first hair partings above the ear and separate them with a duckbill clip. Next, gather all of your hair to the back and smooth it to one side. To hold the hair in place, you have two options. You can either grab a handful of bobby pins and create a row of crisscross pins up the back of the hair. Alternatively, you can use hair combs if you prefer that method. By applying the hair comb vertically and pushing it against the hair. To create the twist, Gather all of the hair to the same side and twist it under itself, gathering it in a nice little circle. I like to hold it in place with a duckbill clip while I apply my bobby pins, tucking in any loose ends. For the side sections, I'm going to remove the duckbill clips and take both pieces of hair, crossing them over the French twist to the other side and secure them with a duckbill clip. Before I commit to the bobby pin placement, I like to make sure everything is where I want it to be. So I'm using my comb to smooth and shape the side sections before I add any bobby pins. Adding some hairspray now will add a little bit of memory to the hair, making it more willing to stay in place. Position the ends of those side sections however you like, in little pin curls or swirls. Mine are positioned neatly above the twist on top of each other. Lastly, we can complete the style by finishing out the bang section. Remove those pin curl clips and begin to brush out the bang curls. I'm using my comb in an upwards direction, beginning to form that wave, and directing the hair over to the side. My hair has some varying length in the bang section, since there is a slight bang that tapers out a little bit, so part of it is longer than the other, so I'm going to use that 
shorter bang to get a little bit more volume. And the longer section, I will form into a slight pin curl using bobby pins to tuck and place the hair on the side. But first, I'm going to form that shape of the S wave and use duck bill clips to hold it in place when I get it to where I want it to be. Now that we've positioned the bang, we can perfect the shaping even more. Using another duck bill clip, once I find a shape that I like, and adding a little hairspray. Replace the duck bill clips with bobby pins and finish off the style with a little bit more spray. To go along with the updo, I've styled some mid-century fashion elements including dresses, outerwear, and some statement jewelry and gloves. To recreate Lillian Williams' fashion, you can wear a pencil silhouetted dress, a swing jacket or coat, and a pair of gloves with statement jewelry. I hope you enjoyed this classic style vintage updo inspired by Gwendolyn Christie's character on the Netflix show Wednesday. And if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe and check back for my next upload soon.